Ring in the new year with amazing savings from Appalachian Wireless. Get the Galaxy S7 for just $49.99 when you sign or renew a two-year service agreement. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. The Hatfields and McCoys are known for feuding, and that's exactly what's happening this weekend. Well, sort of. Williamson Fieldhouse officials are gearing up for the 14th annual Hatfield and McCoy shootout. High school basketball teams from West Virginia and Kentucky will face off Friday and Saturday at the Fieldhouse to showcase their talents on the hardwood. In the past, the Hatfield and McCoy shootout was a one-day event. This year, with the amount of interest expressed, organizers were able to stretch the function into two days. There's nothing better than to come out and enjoy basketball at the historic Williamson Fieldhouse. This year we have some really good competition coming in, a lot of Division I prospects. The action on the court will support the Mingo County 4-H and Youth of Williamson programs. While the Williamson Fieldhouse hosts the event, director Brandon Ball realizes it takes a group effort in order to make events like the shootout happen. I want to uh, thank Mark Witt and Jared Fletcher. Uh, it's a lot goes into putting these tournaments on, and they do all the groundwork, and we just uh, maintain the facility and welcome them in. A local icon will also be recognized during the Hatfield and McCoy shootout. In between the 6 o'clock game and the 8 o'clock game, we're going to have a little presentation where we designated uh, Jim Court to the late George Ritchie. Uh, he was a former standout Williamson High School ball player and the all-time winningest coach at Williamson High School, so we just want to recognize him uh, and his family. The shootout will start Friday at 3.30 p.m. with five games and Saturday at 10.30 a.m. with eight games. Reporting in Williamson for EKB News, I'm Shelby Still.